The Honourable Carl McGinn. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I rise tonight briefly um, to talk about um, a great spectacle we've seen here in Western Australia just recently on the weekend. <coughs> um, and I hope everyone was wearing blue because it was definitely an absolute um, hammering we've seen down at Optus Stadium on Sunday night um, from the great New South Wales Blues. Um, <coughs> my, uh, look, you know, the Premier can't be on the right side all the time. You know, I did notice he was wearing a maroon scarf, but uh, we'll change that for game three, hopefully. So, <coughs> so look, I, I come from Darwin. Um, Rugby league is massive up in the Northern Territory. Um, managed to get down to, this was my first State of Origin game I've, I've ever been to. Um, but one thing that I did notice when I did get there, and it wasn't very well known until you walked into the stadium, but there was a WA women's team playing and they were playing an NT team. Northern Territory is a very uh, rugby orientated place, AFL, but also rugby league's massive. Um, the WA women's team were thumping them. Um, they were absolutely going to town and it was really, really good quality to watch. Um, great quality rugby. Um, and uh, there was the crowd was getting into it already. You could feel the atmosphere in, in Optus Stadium. People were packed outside. Um, and then once the main game came on, it was absolutely pumping inside that stadium. Um, and we've seen, you know, talk about tourism just earlier. The tourism that that brought into Western Australia, I think I heard a figure of about 20,000 interstate visitors that come across to watch the game, went across to Rottnest Island, looked at quokkas, did all that sort of stuff. Um, massive uh, impact for Western Australia. To put us on the map with State of Origin, um, I think is a really great achievement. Um, and to see such a high quality game from the Blues was excellent. Unfortunately, the Maroons didn't really show up, um, but uh, that's okay, um, we, we can deal with that. But uh, it was really good to see also that um, the crowd got into it, there was no real issues on the night, um, and it was a massive spectacle. The next day I got to uh, go down and have a bit of a run and play touch footy with a couple of other members in the uh, chamber. Um, that was really good to do as well. It was uh, part of the um, NRL Friends of Rugby League uh, for parliamentarians, but it was also about a state of mind program which the NRL is running, which is around mental health. And they've been doing amazing things up in the north, particularly up in the Kimberley. Um, an ex-player, Preston Campbell, um, Dean Withers. There's been some amazing players that are getting out there and really <coughs> getting to the grassroots and putting mental health as a priority in sports. But there were some great tries on the day um, during the touch footy game. I have to say I was playing for New South Wales along with the Honourable Robin Scott. Um, the Honourable Matthew Swinburne was playing for Queensland. Um, but he did have play of the day. Um, play of the day from the Honourable Matthew Swinburne, where he scored a try coming down the wing. Um, but he put the ball down like this and he let momentum get the better of him. And he went straight over the top of the ball. Um, and it was really good because it was, uh, it was on replay up on the big screen for all of us to see again. So um, it was really good. But look, uh, it was a really great day and it was uh, good to get out there and have a bit of a run around. But the players were really serious. You know, Nathan Highmarsh, um, Dean Withers, they were really serious about the fact that NRL has a lot to offer. And particularly around um, the mental health stuff they're doing, it's, it's really good to see. And I think we as a state should look really seriously at NRL. Um, the crowd, biggest crowd that Optus Stadium's had for a sporting event, that says something in itself. Um, and I'm sure once we look back at how much we benefited financially around the area, um, I think we'll find it's a great thing for Western Australia. So go the Mighty Blues for Game 3 and well done to WA for hosting it.